I was driving to Dullesbury and where I live, I travel on two secondary highways and one county road um, is called Library Avenue. And I was making the right turn onto Liberia. And prior to all these residential housing and stuff going, going up and being there, it was all rural. After making that right turn, a, a young driver shoots from behind me to my left side. And she was going so fast that like she was about to pass me. Then she pulls up and just stays steady for about a mile sunrise and I'm looking 8, 12, 15 seconds ahead and to my right I see deer coming out of the fields towards the road and I immediately started slowing down. The cars behind me started slowing down but she on my left just kept on going and bam. People pulled over, I pulled over to make sure they are okay but I lead time doesn't just keep you sitting in a traffic lane. It keeps you aware of your surroundings and it keeps you safe. So what's ID time? ID lead time is a time a driver visually scans ahead of their vehicle. Drivers must continuously survey their path of travel to detect objects and activities, acquire enough information to understand each one and decide what actions to take. A good ID lead time 8 to 12 seconds. One last thing. Don't get confused with space cushion and fog distance. They aren't one the same. A space cushion is space around your vehicle that you maintain to allow room to maneuver, pulling from park positions safely, or delivering packages to stops without the worry of a hazard hitting your vehicle. While falling distance is a space between your car and the car ahead of you while you're traveling. The rule of thumb is this. For speeds less than 30 miles per hour, your falling distance should be 46 seconds. While for speeds greater than 30 miles per hour, you should have a falling distance of 6 to 8 seconds. Make sure to always stay aware and be safe.